Hi, welcome to a new week of Climbing Daily. On today's show, we've got a snippet from an upcoming Epic TV series, but news-wise, we've got one story, and it's the story in the climbing world right now. Between the 12th and 16th of February, Tommy Caldwell and Alex Honnold made the first traverse of the Fitzroy Ridge. The ridge is five kilometers long, they climbed 4,000 vertical meters in total, and they found difficulties up to 7A. My Spanish is non-existent, so I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the names of the peaks, but they traverse seven major summits, including Fitzroy itself, a mountain that most climbers would give their right arm to climb on its own. The key to their speed was simul climbing. This is where both climbers climb at the same time, placing protection between them. The risks are higher because you're not being belayed traditionally, but it means you eat up terrain. To give you an idea, they climbed the 20-pitch Goretta Pillar on Fitzroy in three simul climbing pitches. Using this technique, they were able to climb the traverse in only 15 pitches, leading Patagonian guru Rolando Garabotti to ask, with his tongue firmly in his cheek, why it took them four days to climb 15 pitches. The only way to succeed on a route this long and hard is to go light and fast, and they certainly did that. The gear they used on the route was two small backpacks, one sleeping bag, one small tent, a stove, one ice tool between two, two pairs of crampons, one ice screw, half a dozen cams, a set of stoppers, one rope, some ascenders, six quick draws, and 14 slings. Not a lot. To give you an idea what the guys are up against, check out this video that we featured a few months back showing a new route being climbed in Patagonia. I got into some really loose rock. Yeah. Horrendous. Cinquième jour, on dit que ça devrait être le jour du sommet. Hopefully, hopefully tomorrow will be, it'll be nice weather, be a bit warmer. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. C'est un peu dur. Uh, C'est un peu mauvais le temps, quoi. C'est un peu mauvais. Believe it or not, this is Alex Honnold's first route in Patagonia. He's taken it all in his stride though. He put this picture on Facebook and described the whole experience as extreme backpacking. To finish, we've got an excerpt from the latest episode of the Epic TV series, Sub-Zero. Enjoy and we'll see you tomorrow. Finding new places and developing new climbs has always certainly been a big part of why I love climbing. There's so many things to climb out there, but when you find something and get to develop it yourself, it's kind of like your imprint in the climbing world. The Bull River, it's 45 minutes from my house, so I've spent a lot of time there, but only in recent years have I been in a place in my climbing that I've been able to understand and see what to do with certain lines. A couple years ago, the Al Matador was staring at me right in the face, but I didn't have the know-how of how to develop that. You know, but a couple of years ago, I had a better understanding of what to do with that line, and uh, it became like the most magical line of my climbing career. The winner this week is Nally Huckdeval. For the last three months, he's been struggling with a shoulder injury, but he seems to be getting back to full strength. He recently.